Eamon Khan here four seconds out with the one and only Stephen McKenna as he prepares, well, as he helps his brother prepare for his fight coming this weekend. Stevie first, Aaron first, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Easy to get mixed up a little bit there, but look, Aaron, uh, the reason I wanted to pull you in front of the camera was because uh, a little bit interesting tidbit. I spoke to Liam Williams and he put it out after I spoke to him that maybe there's a fight room between you and Liam. Is that possible? Yeah, definitely. It's uh, a fight that I would like and uh, by the sounds of it that he would like too. Uh, it's a fight that I need at this stage of my career to get up the ranks and it would be a big statement uh, fight as well to take on someone like Liam who's very experienced and highly ranked. So it's definitely a fight I want to take and as soon as possible. Aaron, tell me about how you feel you match up with him in the ring. How do you feel you have the advantages over someone experienced like Liam? Uh, I think uh, he seems to think I can only go forward, but I have a lot of styles I can do. Um, I have a good job, I have good boxing IQ. I was a very experienced amateur boxer, so there's many ways to beat him. And I think he's come to a stage in his career where it's, he needs to win or that's it. I think he said that in his last fight. It's win or quit for him, but um, yeah, there's many ways to beat him, I think. And what did you make of his recent performances? His most high-profile fight recently was the defeat to Chris Eubank Jr., where we kind of saw him how we've never seen him before, really, Aaron. Uh, but he's come back, he's bounced back from that. But what did you make of that fight specifically? Yeah, it was a strange fight. Um, not really sure. He was getting knocked down by jabs, and it didn't seem like there were powerful punches, but it was just sad to see someone get dropped by jabs like that. But... Um, yeah, it's definitely a, a fight to make this year anyway, uh, the sooner the better. And what's the latest with you? When are you next out? Uh, um, uh, people are looking to see you, we've seen you in scintillating form previously, so when are you next out in the ring? Uh, hopefully really soon. I'll, I'd say there will be a fight date announced uh, within the next few weeks, uh, soon enough, so yeah, I'll be back out again very soon. Your brother Stevie will be in action this week. A lot to come from Stevie as well. People looking to see him back in the ring. But Stevie's made no bones about the fact that he wants Connor Ben. Um, do you think maybe in a few years we might get that fight? Uh, yeah, that's if Connor Ben's allowed to box again. Uh, but if he is, he can take on Stephen in this comeback fight. Um, I believe Stephen knocks him out. And I think he knows that too. That's why he's not responding or replying to Stephen because he knows he's a dangerous fighter. 11 out of 12. KOs in his fight, so deadly dangerous puncher. Why would he take on someone like Stephen? But it'd be a barnstormer. And Aaron, I want to get your thoughts on Katie Taylor. Hopefully, she'll be getting a homecoming fight this year, uh, a fight that'll be massive for all of Ireland. Uh, what are your thoughts on Katie Taylor coming back and getting that homecoming? Yeah, it's been a long time coming. Uh, she really deserves to fight back home in front of all the Irish fans. I'm sure it'll sell out within minutes. Um, Ireland's been crying for it this long time for a fight like that. And such a big fight too uh, to have. Um, yeah, brilliant for Irish boxing. Shame it might not be Croke Park. Uh, yeah, it would have been class to see it in Croke Park. Uh, 80, 90,000 people in there. It would have been some atmosphere, but there's talks of it happening in Croke Park in the one after if it's not going to happen this time. But yeah, it's amazing to see that she's finally getting to fight in Ireland anyway. Aaron, pleasure speaking to you. Looking forward to seeing you in the ring, hopefully against Liam Williams. Thank you for taking seconds out. Good man. Appreciate it.